Yo! What up? Tier Zoo dropped a new video. Power scaling cows. Are bulls are bulls like part cow? Like part like I guess in the cow category? Cause I ain't gonna lie. They kinda they they go kinda crazy, bro. They go kinda crazy. Let's check this out. We were supposed to check this out like, you know, a while ago, but like a lot of things a lot of things was popping up, but let, let's get into it. gosh yo i don't get I, I will never understand like the bull thing why are you fucking with these animals bro they literally be having par parades where they be out in the middle of the street running away from them for fun for fun damn and they got they got jumps bro i ain't gonna lie bulls top of the top of the tier top of the tier are one of the most popular builds in the game and normally, a high population is a good indicator that a build is pretty powerful in the current meta. Yeah. However, I think in the case of cattle, there are a lot of other factors which make their true power level a bit less obvious. Okay. Are cattle low tier builds that are simply propped up by human activity? Or are they a genuinely powerful high tier that would dominate with or without human help? Oh my god, bitch them. Bitch them. Cattle are part of a powerful tier that would dominate with or without human help. Let's delve into their stats and abilities to find out. Okay. Are bovines OP? Cattle are part of a powerful faction of builds called bovines, which also oh, wow. includes the bison, oh. cape buffalo, water buffalo, I'm and sorry. historically, the auric. While there are a few differences between them, sorry. which we'll discuss in a tier list. What the fuck is that thing? List at the end of the video, they all share a few common traits. Bovines have an exceptionally high HP stat. It takes a lot of damage to bring them down, pretty much requiring team strats from multiple Damn. players at once. And unlike some other high HP builds, bovines don't just sit there eating the damage. No, they can strike back. Yeah, nah, they fuck you up. Force. Their sharp, sturdy horns can inflict massive damage on any. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Holy shit! And unlike antlers, which fall off and need to be regrown each year, the horns cattle have, they have. Ooh. That that. That look fire. Year round, always ready to wreck someone's plan of attack. Ugh. Their mobility stat is kind of mid, definitely not high enough to reliably escape a predator. And their intelligence. Oh my god, I'm, I, I can't hear like mid the same way again. It's, and it's like funny hearing tier Zeus say mid. Round, always ready to wreck someone's plan of attack. Their mobility stat is kind of mid, definitely not high enough to reliably escape. A like mid is a is like always been a, a like a word. It's like always been a thing, but now it's like the way that it's used is just like it's just weird. <laughs> it's just weird hearing it now. It's like a, uh, there was another word that was always used. I think it's, it was clout. Like clout has always been a word that was used and stuff, but now it's like not the same. Like if you hear someone on the news saying clout, you'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are they talking about clout for? Predator and their intelligence mid, and mid, mid, stealth mid, 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 mid. are both below average for a mammal. However, neither of these stats are all that integral to the bovine build's main strategy. Okay. While lower intelligence does create a potentially exploitable vulnerability to things like traps and lower their resistance to distractions and intimidation Can tactics, bulls swim? It's not so low that bovines aren't able to utilize team combos. Quite the contrary, in fact. Oh, the herd shit. defense tactics employed by a competent herd of cattle makes them borderline impossible to defeat in a group. Mm. But since they have such a high HP stat, this gives Cow's teammates a lot of time to regroup and launch a counterattack if one of their herd members goes it's down a tank. and needs a save. Next, we should discuss their unique abilities and their signature combat moves. Okay. Bovines all have the ruminant ability, which enables them to gain XP and level up all just from eating grass. Mm. This might seem like a boring ability, but its usefulness is actually hard to overstate. Having this perk essentially means that one of the most abundant plants in the game. Yeah, I was about to say, bro, like literally grass is everywhere. Get grass spawns everywhere. Easy. Comes your main source of XP, completely removing the need to search and forage for food. That's fire. This means a player doesn't need to invest evolution points into things like climbing, digging, keen eyesight, or intelligence True. to be able it to find food. It spawns everywhere. And invest those points into other stats, which is Damn! how cattle are able to support such a high base stat total. Cattle also push the mammal faction's signature move, lactation, to its limits. 
Cow milk is one of the most nutritious substances in the game, mm. and allows new cattle players to level up extremely quickly. This helps keep their offspring safe, Aww. as it means they spend less time in the more vulnerable low weight class, and quickly reach a size where hardly anything could realistically take them Aww, down. That's so the cattle's signature move is Goring Rush. An extremely powerful Goring dash rush. attack that deals heavy damage and inflicts incredible knockback. Goring rush! the target back a good distance and also likely knocking the target prone, which allows for follow-up attacks. Their sharp hooves deal Goring extra damage to prone enemies, so this straightforward combo Goring is rush. if it catches an opponent off guard. That is about it when it comes to the- I don't lie, they low-key be spamming that shit. Cow's main combat moves. Cow's can- I mean, that's literally the- God damn! <laughs> and off guard. That is about it when it comes to the cow's main- Goring part. Rush! Cows can kick as well, but it's more of a stomp than- I loved when moves had like the, like little sound effects, because that's how you know niggas were spamming. I remember I, when I used to play uh, uh, Street Fighter, all you hear is Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! Oh my god, do another fucking move. Anything, they don't have the flexibility or power to headshot someone like a horse can. Oh shit! They also cannot deal damage with their bite, since they don't have upper teeth. Not a super big deal. How do I get? Is a powerful option to have in a pinch. Have upper teeth. Not a super big deal, but biting is a powerful option to have in a pinch. So it's at least worth mentioning. Wow. Now let's get into the cattle's weaknesses and counterplay. Mm, okay. So due to the cattle's low intelligence stat, its resistance to mental status conditions like intimidation, distraction, mm. or trickery is reduced. I ain't gonna lie. It depends on which one though. Cause a uh, was it was it a bison? Is that the one with the like the devil looking horns? That shit is intimidating as fuck. They're just big as fuck in general, bro. Intimidation is a pretty common tactic employed by a variety of different- Bulls too! Especially when they got a little nose ring, but I think that shit was in cartoons. <laughs> I think that shit was just in cartoons. Builds, from predators to omnivores to herbivores, intimidation is one of the most effective tactics against cattle and can often result in a cow losing a battle that it very easily could have won yeah. if it had not been scared away. What the- what the hell was that? Can often result in a cow losing a battle that it very easily. Yo, he's literally pressing him and then. Effective tactics against cattle and can. Hey often man, what's up? Who you walking up on, man? You in the wrong block, bro. You got me won. fucked up, man. You. I'm sorry, I'm playing. I'm sorry, I'm joking. If a cow does decide to take the offensive, distractions. Wait, why is that blurred out? Can easily divert the attack, causing it to completely miss. While this is, of course, extremely risky, overcoming to an attack and whiffing can oftentimes mean the difference between. Of course, extremely risky, overcommitting to an attack and whiffing can oftentimes mean the difference between decisive victory and crushing defeat. Oh my and God! Can even be able to utilize a combination of intimidation and distraction to kite cattle in specific directions, enabling them to control entire herds. Damn, dogs are has crazy. Human mains to capture huge numbers of cattle. Cattle are known for their goring Stupid. rush attack, which, while powerful, is imp. This is the shit I'm talking about. What is this? Do you even get anything at the end of this? Perfect. Many builds put a ton of points into the ability Concussive Force Resistance. Concussive Force! Concussive Force! Times 1,000! have some blunt force resistance, but not enough that headbutts and charging attacks are without risk. I ain't gonna lie, that's a good battle move, bro. Just a, just a heavy... A heavy headbutt? Concussive Force! Yeah! <laughs> that's kind of fire! In fact, at high speed, cattle can easily take lethal damage in a single hit if they strike another player at full force with their charging attack. Builds. It's like a boss battle where you gotta lead it into the fucking wall and it gets the stars. Lethal damage in a single hit if they strike another player at full force with their charging attack. Builds like the goat or bighorn sheep can easily best a cow in 1v1 combat. What? Builds like the goat or bighorn sheep can easily best a cow in 1v1 combat. That's crazy! Even the stats are much higher in a vacuum. Builds with forward facing oh god. horns can also present quite a challenge to bovine builds, as bovine horns tend to face to the side. They're mm. more used for swiping and slashing at opponents than for stabbing. Nice! Birds. This means that in a direct confrontation, sharp antlers can deal a lot of damage to a bovine player 
while keeping them out of reach of connecting with their own horn attack. Zoning, get there zoned. enough different bovines for a proper full length tier list video. Right. But I think I can do a quick rapid fire ranking to close out this video. All right, let's do the it. Basic cattle comes in at a solid B tier. Definitely not a bad yeah, build. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to us. I, like, I agree with that. Do I remember this? Remember what? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I definitely see that being, you know, lower. What the fuck? I've never played this shit. Damn, he going crazy though. Look at the animations and shit. What the fuck? Extreme po Hold on, let me. Extreme like This is just like a like a Oh, it is one of those 5M. Okay. Shit. Ah! Hi, I'm Dante, and I bet you're wondering how I got here. Uh, how do I fucking restart? Can I? Okay, can I just, can I get a restart, please? Is this an ad? If I press this, will it lead to a deep fake website? I mean, well, I have to explain how it wasn't me. I was just curious, and I browsed, and I... Oh. oh. Fucking move. Oh, the arrow keys? I'm hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beat it. I mean, what happens now? It like it like freezes after it like free. Oh, there's more levels. It like freezes. It's like done now. Oh my god, remember Happy Wheels and shit? Yeah, I can't do anything. Cool though. Cool like cool cool type of shit though. But one with a lot of weaknesses that high tier builds can exploit. Their main advantage <laughs> over the other, more wild cattle variants, is that due to selective breeding by humans, the domestic cattle are actually the best in the game at milk production. Mm. And therefore, their offspring level mm -hmm. up and reach larger sizes much quicker. Okay. Definitely a much more beginner friendly build. Although, at the end of your playthrough, there's a good chance a human will eliminate you. Yeah. Also in B tier, we have the Yak, a mountainous variant yeah. of the cat that opted yeah. for slightly lower base stats in exchange for better resistance yeah. to the cold and better mobility on icy or rocky terrain. Same basic oh, weaknesses as the common cattle, but its ability to survive the cold Himalayan mountains means that it has less natural enemies to contend with than cattle in less hostile Yo, horns are so, like, they just the are so fire. I like horns. Bison. 
any game that I play, like an RPG game that I play, and like, there's like a skin for a horn, I always add it. It just looks fire during the cutscenes. The Bison are the largest bovine builds and traded some of their power stats for extra health and defense. Mm. As a result, they have shorter horns and lots of padded yeah. fur on their head, meaning that they can yeah. take a lot more damage, but also can't deal as much damage Holy using Gore and Rush. This can be a bit of a problem, as Gore Rush one hit a wolf would really help discourage aggressive teams of wolves from attacking them. Since they can't get a one-hit kill without a crit, some oh. wolves get pretty brazen in their attacks on Bison. It's a child. Still, they're tied with the Moose as the premier tank of the North America. Ooh, the server. Moose looks fire. They have favorable matchups against the Grizzly. A bear? bear? So still definitely a solid high tier. Next in A tier we have the Water Buffalo, a bovine build with bull definitely S tier for sure. Cattle, but with higher offensive stats and massive horns. They get a mobility bonus in shallow water, which, while not that busted of an ability, is still pretty nice to have. Mm -hmm. Water buffalo have to be able to fight off one of the most powerful solitary predator builds in the game. Alligators. The Wait. Bengal Tiger. Oh, fuck. Anything that can take on this thing has to be at least A tier. The human player base in the India server is also notably less aggressive towards bovine players, okay. which makes them a lot more viable in that meta. What the hell? But when it comes to hostile metagames, nothing compares to Africa. And despite the abundance of oh, extremely shit. powerful predators like the lion and hyena, yeah. and territorial giants like the rhino and elephant, the Cape Buffalo is still notorious for being one of the most dangerous builds in the game. It's one of Africa's big five, a status given to builds which are notoriously difficult for humans to defeat one mm. one. And so I think for this reason, the African Cape Buffalo ranks first among the bovine builds. Okay. But it still doesn't quite crack S tier mostly because it's overshadowed by the wildebeest in the African savanna meta. The wildebeest, which is not a type of cattle or buffalo, oh. but rather is essentially an antelope with higher stats, may oh. not be as bulky as the Cape Buffalo, but it does have a much higher base speed stat. And oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's the ones That's the ones that took out Mufasa. This speed is pretty crucial for being able to- In Hindu religion, it's sacred in India. No beef, no beef to eat too. Wait, what's sacred? The animal's sacred? Is that why that shit's getting fucking carried around in a car? <laughs> to escape an ambush from Africa. Oh, cows? Okay. Chris Predator builds. And for punishing opponents who don't respect the wildebeest's range, leading to the wildebeest being vastly more successful than the cave. Damn, buffalo. yeah, them niggas is this demons. This level of <laughs> optimization is <laughs> what it takes <laughs> to crack S tier. <laughs> <in the Africa. laughs> now, this doesn't mean cattle will never be S tier. <laughs> in <laughs> fact, <laughs> I think there's a pretty strong argument to be made that prior to humans unlocking the gunpowder technology on the tech tree, bison were the undisputed S tier of North America. Damn, bro. And although they were all but annihilated from the server, That's their numbers crazy. are slowly but surely returning to healthy levels it's quite an inspiring story which you can check out right now on curiosity street okay i see you with the transition wait it's not over is it we didn't get s tier as well as many of my dozens of dances they were all but or was this the s tier damn that was a crazy transition i was like what there's gotta be more <laughs> okay so that was the s tier what about the bull though like i thought the bull was the bull like part of the cow or something? I ain't gonna lie. I guess compared to these other these other dudes, like you know, the bull really ain't the bully really ain't crazy like that. The big five, the Avengers of the the Avengers of the Amazon, the Avengers of the Amazon. I can't find the clip. Joke is dead. Okay. Mobility. Okay. Joke is dead. We're done. Dun da 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 dun dun da dun da 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 dun. It's time. What is this, bro? Uh, best TV and cartoon openings. Oh my gosh, bruh.